Hello children and welcome back to chapter 3 from Oxford New Pathways the revised edition of the literature reader class 4 children we had already understood the part 1 of chapter 3 the shah weaves a rug if you have not seen the video of part 1 do watch it the link is given in the description box so don't forget to watch part 1 before you start with part 2 now let's go ahead with part 2 of the shah weaves a rug how much should i ask for this rug he asked the shah 5000 gold coins 5000 who can pay so much the Shah himself. The Queen loves beautiful rugs. Take it to her. You are intelligent. All right. I will take it to the Queen when you finish. Now children, what happens is this. Okay. The chief of the bandits, he asks Shah, who is dressed up in the form of a farmer and he is pretending to be a farmer so he asks this farmer who's Shah actually he asks him now how much should I ask for the rug that you will make so he says that 5,000 gold coins so he says 5,000 who can pay so much so he says the farmer says the Shah himself the Queen loves beautiful rugs and if you take it to her you will get that much money. So this chief says you are intelligent. Alright, I will take it to the queen when you finish making the rug. No one could weave a more beautiful rug than me. My fingers can weave magic. My carpet will fetch you a lot of money. Go bring a loom. The leaders greedy eyes were shining let the weaver show his magic if he has lied we will sell him in the slave market now shah says that no one could weave a more beautiful rug than me means he is the best weaver and nobody can weave better rug than him better carpet than him he said that his fingers can weave magic he can do magic with his fingers okay now he says that his carpet that he's going to make will get him fetch underline the word fetch will get him lot of money so he says the chief says go and bring a loom he orders okay now the leaders greedy eyes can you see the leaders greedy eyes were shining let the weaver show his magic he says let him show his magic and if he has lied if he has not spoken the truth we will sell him in the slave market. The Shah began to work on the loom. He worked day and night. The chief of the bandits was very pleased to see the bright colors woven into beautiful flowers and birds. Now children, can you see Shah over here dressed up like a farmer? Now he has started working on the loom. Can you see this loom? This is a machine in which the carpet is woven okay so he has started working on the loom now he started working day and night and now the chief the head of the bandits the robbers he was very pleased to see the bright colors woven into beautiful flowers and birds in the carpet the shah's fingers flew faster and faster he seemed to take special care with the pattern on the rug's end. The flowers and birds matched those in the rug's center. But there were letters also in an old Persian script. The bandits had never seen letters like this before. This writing was known only to the royal families. At last, the Shah finished the rug. Now children, what happens here is the Shah starts working faster and faster. Now he took special care when he was working with the pattern on the 
end of the rug okay the flowers the birds matched those in the rug center but there were letters also in an old persian script now children he was writing something in persian script in this carpet along with the flowers and birds there were some words written in persian writing script means writing underline the word script now the bandits okay these robbers they had never these thieves had never seen letters like this before this writing was only known to the royal family the people belonging to the royal family the king's family so at last the shah finished making the rug this is very beautiful i will go to the palace with the potter and give it to the queen myself i will ask her for 5000 gold coins said the bandit chief only one condition said the shah unroll the rag only in front of the queen do not show it to anybody else all right the chief agreed easily when the chief of the bandits reached the palace he was not allowed inside but when the queen heard that somebody had come to sell rugs she said to her maid ask him to come in i will look at his rugs it will take my heart away from the worry i feel because of my husband's absence now children this is very beautiful who said this the chief he said that i will go to the palace with the potter and give it to the queen myself now the chief wanted to go himself and give it to the queen i will ask her for 5000 gold coins he said only one condition the shah said there is only one condition what is the condition he said that unroll the rag only unroll the carpet only in front of the queen do not show it to anybody else when you go there to the palace don't show it to anybody else and do not open it in front of anybody excepting the queen all right the chief agreed easily when the chief of bandits he reached the palace he was not allowed to go inside but when the queen heard that somebody had come to sell rugs to sell carpets she asked her maid to let the man come in because she thought that you know uh, she was feeling very sad because her husband was not there and in her absence she wanted you know to ease herself to ease her heart so that you know she would feel better so she said that okay i will look at his rugs so the curtains were put aside and the bandit chief was let in he bowed respectfully and unrolled the rug the queen gave out a cry of joy this was one of the best rugs she had seen when she looked at the rug closely she gave out a cry of surprise she bent over to examine the end of the rug and read it like a book then she said this is exquisite work how much do you want for it now what happens is the curtains were put aside and the bandit was let in he was allowed to come in he bowed and he greeted the queen now the queen gave out a cry of joy as he unrolled the rug she got so happy looking at the rug this was the best rug that she had seen so she got very happy when she saw the rug closely she gave a cry of surprise she was surprised now she bent very close to examine to see examine means to check to see the end of the rug and she read it there were some scripts writing okay at the end of the rug which shah had written so she was a queen so she could read it so she read it like a book then she said this is exquisite work something that is awesome and she asked him how much would he charge for the rug 5000 gold coins for you my queen the bandit bowed low for someone else it would be more than twice that amount 10000 gold coins i shall give you that sum because the rug pleases me very much she added i myself will get you the reward money now the queen says that how much should i pay so this chief said 5000 for you my queen 
but if anybody else had to buy it i would give double the amount so that means 10000 so the queen said 10000 gold coins i will give you that sum because the rug pleases me i like the rug very much and i'll give you 10000 and she said that i'll go and bring the reward money myself i'll go and bring the money the queen went in and gave some secret orders to the palace guards into the pattern of the rug asha has woven a message for me he calls for help this man who has brought me the rug holds him prisoner in an old fort outside the city give orders to 50 of our best warriors to follow him secretly the bandit knew nothing about the message woven into the border of the rug because he was so happy about the gold coins he did not notice that the shah's soldiers were following him now queen after reading the message she didn't even think of anything she said that okay i'll get the money i'll get 10000 for you she went inside and she ordered the palace guards to go and follow him secretly she said that i have understood the whole story and my shah has been put and locked up in a old fort outside the city and i need to rescue him she gave orders to 50 of her best warriors to follow him secretly now these 50 warriors okay soldiers were following the chief secretly now the bandit knew nothing now this chief of the bandit he knew nothing about the message because he could not read it so he was nicely and merrily going back to his old fort with the gold coins and he did not notice that the shah's soldiers were following him when the chief returned to the fort he saw the singer with the magical voice enter with another set of innocent men and women the bandits waited for them to pass and then began to enter but soon the 50 soldiers captured him and the fort now when the chief returned to his fort he saw the singer the magical voice the singer bringing a set of innocent men and women again to the fort so the bandits waited now the bandits wanted to enter the fort so they waited and let these people pass in but as they went in the 50 soldiers captured him and the fort the people captured by the bandits were freed and the shah returned to the palace the bandit and his gang including the singer were punished when all was set right and life in the city was back to normal, the people went to the palace and fell to their knees, thank the good Shah. Blessed be the weavers, they said. Now, when the people who were captured by the bandits, they became free, they returned back to the palace and they wanted to thank the Shah because the life had become normal now and the city was again happy merry everything was back to normal the people they went to the palace they fell to their knees to thank the good shah and they said blessed be the weavers because it was because of the weavers that you know they could set free and the shah managed to set them free by weaving a carpet so they said blessed be the weavers children that is why Persian carpets are famous all over the world even today even today you see Persian carpets all over the world isn't it so this is why Persian carpets are famous all over the world even today okay children thank you very much hope you've understood the lesson please do read the chapter and understand it thoroughly listen to the video again and again for better understanding Okay children, bye-bye.